the videos that talk about how influencers make money online talk about the typical things like brand deals, affiliate links, merchandise and blah blah blah. And while those are true and very good to know, there are more ways that you can potentially make money simply by putting yourself out there and having an audience online. My main audience is on TikTok, so I'm going to talk to you about five different opportunities I've had to make money, which I did not expect. And in the meantime, if you'd like to subscribe, then I would love for you to join the fam. Number one, I had a major radio station reach out to me. You can imagine my surprise when I come across an email in my inbox like, Hi, from Capital. Like, um... <laughs> I Turns out they wanted to see how I'd be as a potential radio host. So they invited me in to do a demo, which is basically a practice session where I could pretend to be a radio host and they see how I sound and then they decide what to do with me. Did I ever think that by creating videos on TikTok, I'd one day be approached as a potential radio host? No. <laughs> it didn't go ahead in the end. They said good things about my demo, but due to a number of reasons at the time, one being the situation with COVID, it just wasn't the right time for them to do anything and the communication ultimately just fizzled out. But the point is, by putting yourself out there and creating content online, you will attract opportunities that you hadn't necessarily thought of. Number two, being on billboards and television ads. It still doesn't feel real that this happened. So TikTok do a lot to promote the app and that extends into traditional advertising. I was on a billboard on London's Odeon complex to promote the app. I was on a billboard in London Piccadilly to promote the Brit Awards in conjunction with TikTok. I was on a TV ad to promote the app during lockdown. And I've had a mural created when they were celebrating Black History Month. Like, someone's actually painted me on a wall. And I find that so bananas. That's just, that's just mad. <laughs> I had no idea I'd be doing these sort of things. And again, like the radio opportunity, that's something that came to me. Hint, hint. Number three, getting paid or unpaid opportunities to use other apps or services. Now this is different from a typical brand deal, as rather than them paying me to promote them on my page, they're paying me to actively use the app or the service like any other user. Normally with this, you'd be asked to do a certain amount of posts each month or use it for a certain amount of time each month, depending on how the platform works. Some of these opportunities may be unpaid, but the benefit for me may be added exposure on the app. I may be able to access the service for free when usually I'd have to pay for it. Or if it's a completely new service, it may be that I can make money naturally through their product anyway. But I also have the advantage of early access. So I can have the advantage of more attention being distributed to me because there are few of people on there. So yes, being an early adopter of a platform can be a very good thing. Number four, paid speaking gigs. Now it's one thing being asked to speak in a panel, but to actually get paid for it? Mad. There's a whole world that exists where people are running events and workshops and the speakers on there can not always, but they can get paid to speak. I've done quite a few speaking gigs and they've all centered around how to create on TikTok and how brands can best work with creators. But if you're someone who creates content in like the beauty niche, for example, you may not only have the opportunity to talk about how you grew your audience or your presence online, but you also may have like speaking gigs where you can talk about how to do a certain thing because you are someone who knows how to do beauty. So if educating and inspiring is something that appeals to you, then FYI, the speaking opportunities exist. And last but not least, number five, getting offered positions in different companies. This was completely unexpected, but the more you show what you can do and display your skills by speaking at events or doing your usual content and just talking to people, you may just find people are reaching out to you asking to fill certain positions at their company. That's what happened to me. Someone had a business where they needed someone to join their team at a higher level who also had experience as a content creator. And it was also just happened to be part-time hours. So potentially something I could balance against my other work commitment. That could be an amazing opportunity. And I know there are some people today who will completely shun the idea of working nine to five or working for someone else, especially as creators. You may be thinking, well, I didn't become a creator or an influencer so I could go back to working for someone else. And you know what? That's fair. If it really isn't for you, then obviously that's totally fine. But there are so many skills that you can gain by working at a company and for a really good salary. So I don't think it needs to be demonized. And it doesn't have to be forever, but I do think it's still important to have multiple streams of income. So I hope this video has opened your eyes to some of the opportunities that can come to you simply by putting yourself out into the world. And if you're new to my world, then remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. That's it. Bye.